Y'all, I am back home from getting my first ever Brazilian wax, and my God, I don't know, Jesus, I'm calling you. First off, I want to just talk about what I wish <laughs> I knew before going into that. I wish I would have knew it's best to take painkillers like, I don't know, maybe like an ibuprofen or something before going so the pain, you know, you be a little, maybe, I don't know if it's you be sedated or just, you don't feel the pain as much. I don't know. I just read that on Twitter. And please, ladies, if you never had a Brazilian wax before, please do not listen to these females that are online saying, it don't hurt that bad, it don't hurt that bad. That is probably one of the worst. And I have a very high pain tolerance. I would rather sit and get tattooed than do that again. Like, I would rather sit and have this stuff done than to do that again. I am not joking at all. So, another thing I would show to know is not to get more than one thing done when you're going for your first Brazilian wax. Because me, I got three, th three things done. I also asked for them to wax my whole entire back and I asked them to wax my entire stomach. So first she waxed my entire back, then she waxed my entire stomach. My back was fine, it just felt like a little wax, you know, a little stinging, you know, whatever. But I was cool, I wasn't even moving, I wasn't even flinching. When she got to my stomach, the pain went up. I was like, oh, okay. At that point, after she waxed my stomach, I was just like, oh, maybe I should go home, maybe I should just cancel the Brazilian, cancel it, cause that stomach, it hurt. Um, when she got to the Brazilian now, first of all, I, oh Jesus, I don't even want to relive it in my mind. <laughs> I got PTSD right now. Oh, okay. When she got to my Brazilian, I just knew it was over with when she started, because the Brazilian is different from bikini. And the Brazilian, they also do your butt. So... Cause you know, hair also grows not just on the front of your vagina, but it wraps around to your, your buttocks. So your inner cheeks, like inner cheeks, like inside, like right behind, you know. Um, so when she started to put the wax on my butt area and connect it up to my, you know, my vagina like lips. Before she even ripped it off, I just knew it was over with. I knew it was over with, I knew. Baby, when she, cause they have to grip it in order to pull it all the way off. So they kind of take a little bit at first to grip it and then they pull it. That grip that she had to take under there hurt so bad. I, my legs, cause you have to have your legs in a butterfly, so like this. So you have to have your legs like that. I don't like that for one. And so I had my legs like this. When she did that first little grip off, I almost kicked that woman and I didn't even know it till she was like, hey, hey, I'm pregnant, so please don't move, I'm pregnant. And I'm a girlfriend, I'm like, oh, girl, you finna, we finna be at it because I cannot just stay still like this and hold my legs when something's hurting. To the extent that that was hurting, like, the pain. Oh. When I say I felt like I was gonna pass out or die or not make out of there, I didn't know what was finna go down. That pain is a 10 out of 10 on a scale from one to 10. It's a 10 out of 10. I don't care what nobody tell you. If it's your first time, you are going to, Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Now, that's just my experience. It hurt very, very bad and I have high pain tolerance. I would rather sit and get all these tattoos that I have done than to do that again, ever. At this point, I'm like, I'm never going back. But people do say the more you go, you know, the more you get used to it, the less it's like hurting. But 
I just don't know if I want to do that again. Another thing I would say, if you've got a Brazilian wax before, comment and talk, tell me about this situation. So when I went into the room to get waxed, the lady just stood there and told me to undress. I didn't like that because usually when you have to undress at a doctor's office or so, or if you're getting a facial, they step out and let you, or you, or if you're at a spa, they step out and let you get undressed and you call them back in once you have one, you know, the little thing like this or whatever, and then you lay down, then they take it off of you. But this lady just stood there and told me to get undressed and watch me. She did not leave the room, like at all. She wanted to take off my bra, my shirt, my, my pants, and she even sat there. I was so uncomfortable, like I have to take off my panties while you stand there and look at me, and she didn't even look away. She was just standing there looking at me like. I was really uncomfortable by that. Also, with my experience, she didn't like do stuff to make me uncomfortable. She, she kind of was, to me, she was kind of acting like I was getting on her nerve. Um, I told her when, when I walked in there, that it was my first time and you know, I'm a little scared and she, she didn't do anything to make me feel comfortable. She made me get undressed in front of her, did not leave the room. And then when she got done with my Brazilian, I had like a few specks of hair just like on my, in my, you know, on my, like, and I'm just showing her, I'm like, even though I ain't even want to go through it again, I'll get ready to go. I was just like, why are there a few specks of hair? It's not all the way smooth. There are specks of hair like right now left on there. And she was like, oh, they're too short. So next time when you, I waited and let my hair grow all the way out to cut, to get this Brazilian wax, and then you're gonna leave a few specks of hair on there. But I didn't even fight it. I was just so over it that I just left. I was just like, I don't even want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. But um, I think in my back done. So my back is like really, really. Ooh, my back is good. There are no like extra specks of hair left on my back. So I like the stomach and I like the back. I'm not too happy with the Brazilian um, just because there are a few specks left on there. It's just like, dang girl. But at this point, I'm not going back to get one of those ever again. I don't know. I'm going out of town next month. So I honestly may have to just suck it up and do it again. But I don't, oh Jesus. <laughs> That's my rating, my experience of getting my first Brazilian. I don't know, maybe I'll get another one, but at this rate, I'm just gonna shave it out. Shave it out, I don't know. Oh, love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.